Drivers Eating Donuts, rookie Kyle Kirkwood, AJ Foy Racing here with us, presented by Quack Daddy Donuts in Pendleton, Westfield, Indiana. Check them out. And they brought this delicious donut for you, just for you, my man. This is a vanilla cake donut with cinnamon powder. And then on top, can you guess what's on top of this donut? Dude, I couldn't really figure it out. It kind of looks like some kind of apple jam of some kind. Is, am I getting close? Am pretty, I getting warm? Pretty, pretty close. Yeah, yeah it's not bad. It's actually peaches. Peaches. On top. Oh. Can you guess why? Man, I have no idea. It's because he went to the Justin Bieber concert. That is so right. We listened to Peaches. His song did Peaches. Listen, it did come on, and that was like the most exciting moment for everyone that was with our group. There you go. That's for sure. They're, we were waiting for it all night. It was the second to last song, and then we bailed out of there because we didn't want to hear the last song. Well, beat the <laughs> That's why we waited for it. Yeah. yeah. A bunch of drivers want to beat the traffic. You would think you'd be good in traffic, but you want to beat the traffic. Yes. Perfect. Bingo. All right. So this is it, man. This is your Get donut from Quack Daddy Donuts. Cool. Dude, that's killer. It tastes like a fall treat. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know how much you do apple orchards, you know? Dude, I'm not. I'm actually Pumpkin not a patches. big donut guy. Not really big on sweets, but that is absolutely amazing. And the only thing that's sweet about it is the is the peach. What, what do you want to call it on top? Cobbler. Peach cobbler. I don't know. Peach pie. Peach, peach pie. cobbler. Yeah, something like that. Very jelly kind of feel. Um, but yeah, it Good feels like for us. you're out at like. It's like a nice October day. You're going to take some photos with the lady at the pumpkin mm -hmm. patch. You're getting, I'm a little, getting a little fall treat. Yep. It's got the cinnamon kick. And uh, yeah, it's delicious. Mm. Quack daddies. How's the rookie year been? Good so far. I mean, we've had we've had some good races and we had some bad races. We had... Um, what have been your good races? Our street course has been awesome. Um, St. Pete, we had... To start off the year, we had St. Pete and we were actually quite quick from the first practice session i think we were like top 12 and that was kind of our position to be in the entire weekend mm -hmm. um unfortunately strategy didn't play out for us it was either two stop or three stop we went with the three stop everyone that was on the two stop got saved by a caution a very very long caution i think it went on for about nine laps and that ruined our chances we were there with Joseph and who, there's a bunch of other good drivers that ended up in the back because so of So when you're sitting in a car like that during cautions, you're warming up the tire, right? That's what yep. you're doing. You're warming yeah, yeah. up the tires, keeping them warm, you know, kind of. Saving a ton of fuel. Saving fuel. That's the biggest thing. Okay. And your head, are you, every time that another lap, are you like, what, what are we doing here? I mean, at uh, what point is it? Yeah, I mean, it's you're kind of just in a focus mode that you just want to save as much fuel as possible and then also keep your brake wa brakes warm and keep your tires warm which is nearly impossible when you're trying to save fuel right because you don't want to use brakes at all so, it so you got yeah so you try and go to the absolute last minute to save so you save everything and then you're going to want to at one point real like the lap right before you get ready to restart you want to warm and just beat the hell out of your tires and brakes yeah. to try and get some heat back in them. So that's kind of the thought process going in as a driver, whenever you're under caution like that. Save, 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 and then push really hard to get everything turned back on. The phrasing drivers use is always so interesting, like, cause I feel like every interview afterwards, it's kind of like what you said, like after a race, it's like, yeah, yellows didn't fall our way. Uh, I had a few cautions <laughs> yeah. that got in the way. It you sounds know, very generic. We, uh, we were on this strategy. Strategy didn't work out for us. And then Kevin Lee's like, all right, back up to you, Marty. And then that's yeah. it. Is that, I mean, you guys just go to that well, every time? Or well, is it it's, true? I mean, it's true. Yeah. I mean, because the way IndyCar is structured and the way the races are structured, mm -hmm. strategy comes as a huge play with it, with how much fuel you use and how much you're saving on track. and. Sometimes strategy plays in your favor and sometimes it doesn't. Like Texas, it felt it fell in our favor because we were starting in the back so we could go off strategy, make a pit stop, take more fuel than everyone, new tires, and then we walked around everyone on a restart. Yeah. You know, that stuff can happen and then all of a sudden we're back on strategy with everyone else, but we're at the front of the field because we're able to walk by them on the tires. So sometimes it plays out in your favor, sometimes it doesn't. And we've had a few races now where it really hasn't played out in our favor. Uh, would you rather be a big fish in a small pond? or a small pit fish in a big pond? Small fish in a big pond. Why? I don't know, I like, I like exploring things. When you're, when you're a small fish, you can just get your way through everything and- Small fish I'll also get eaten. Yeah, whatever, it's, it's natural selection. We'll be all right. You're cool with that? <laughs> yeah, big fish, I mean, you just don't have any time, you don't have room to grow. You know, when you're a little fish, you can grow up and do crazy stuff and it's a lot more exhilarating. Sounds like right? you're describing Finding Nemo. Pretty much. 
You yeah. like that movie? So it, that's exactly what I was saying. How did you guess that? Small fish doing exploring yeah. in a big pond. Yep. Big ocean. Pretty. I mean, if you were going to describe Finding Nemo, it's pretty much it. <laughs> that's Finding Nemo. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, we have a lot of big checks in your Instagram. Yep. Big check guy. Why always the I big check? I don't keep any of them, but... Where do they go? Uh, the big checks? They go on my wall somewhere in uh, where I live, usually. So you're saying... Not the big, the bigger ones. So like the scholarship ones, I've kept those. Um, but I usually always give the, um, I never see that money. Scholarships, right? So it always goes f to whatever team I'm gonna be yeah. with the next year. Um, qualifying checks, stuff like that, never see them. Do you ever get small checks? Not often, no. So you're saying Is size it, does matter? Size does matter, yeah. But they're, you Especially can't, you with can't the take one of the big checks in and cash it in, you know, that's just not how it works. I always want to see that, right? Yeah, like, like uh, what, Happy Gilmore. Yes. And he takes them all in. Getting exactly. one of the big ones, I don't care. He's in the back of the car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You go into the bank and they're yep. trying, sir, yep. I can't run this, you know? Well, why not? <laughs> it's got the money on there. It's got my name. You know? Right, right. Kyle Kirkwood, cash yep. this check, please. No, I think nowadays you need the smaller checks to make them count. And I don't get any of those. I just get the big cardboard ones. Hell yeah, brother. Big ones. <laughs> nice. That's all that matters. All right, I got this segment that I got for you that I did with Simon. Yep. It's called Red Flag, Green Flag. Red Flag, Green Flag. Disney adults. Red Flag. Florida guy, you yeah. you probably see this a lot. Red flag, big red flag. Okay, why? I don't get it. I don't get. I saw some stuff on social media recently where it's like this forty-five year old lady is like super excited to see Mickey or something again. It's just like, whoa, come on now, <laughs> this is a little strange. You know that's a different Mickey every time you walk in there, right? It's they're just have the same, maybe the same outfit on. Wait a second. It's not the, it's not the same now. <laughs> Where, it's a different one? No, I'm saying this, the person that's wearing the costume has got to be a different person. There's always the same guy every single day. There's a person inside there? Is there? <laughs> it's a Come bad on. joke. Only it's a dad out. joke. <laughs> got to be a dad. You know that? You want to be a dad? I'm having a baby. Yes, My wife's I didn't know that. I didn't know baby that. Baby boy. Um, nacho cheese with breadsticks. Red flag, green flag. Nacho cheese with breadsticks. Uh, green flag. Green nice. flag. Yeah. It's, it's just like... Uh, like what are those like pretzel bread with with beer cheese? Same thing, right? Mm. You put mustard on your pretzels? Yes, love that. It's great. I played football in high school, and that's like when it was really hot in like August, September. Okay. On the sideline, the trainer would be like, "Open up!" and he would just have a just, thing of mustard. Really? Yep. Get a quick hit. And then you just make you just don't have cramps. Well, I mean, that. it helps. You know, it just helps the process. So I'd love to see that on like you know pit lane. Which, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you actually, suit on. <laughs> you, you actually get you get cramps in your legs when you're running out yeah, there. I can imagine. Um, like your left le leg when you hit the brakes. I'm here at Indy on the road course. I hit the brakes as absolutely hard as I can. That is the absolute maximum. We have this one of the smallest master cylinders, so it's got the longest throw on it, mm -hmm. right? And it's maxing out. I hit the pedal as hard as I can, 2,500 psi, and you can't go anymore. So mm -hmm. doing that for like an hour and a half. Is, it's insane. It, you can start cramping up bad. Long Beach was bad for me. I was cramping up terribly. Damn, that's rough, yeah. man. Hopefully it's not too hot on the 500 day. Well, the 500, you don't really hit the brakes except for a couple of times when you come in pit lane. Ah, that's right. You better not be hitting the brakes exactly. before then. Yeah, that's true. Hopefully stay out the brakes. All right, last one, red flag, green flag. Pete Davidson and Kim Kardashian. What are we thinking? I don't really think about that that much. I'm going, I don't really understand the whole celebrity subs with different people and everything like that. So I'm going red flag. Okay. That's, that's the only reason why. You think it's real or fake? Oh, I think it's real. Really? I think it's real. Real love? Yeah. No, I don't know about that. You don't know about love? No. Huh? Okay. You don't? Yeah, I don't know anything about love. No. No? I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Um, actually, one more. Guys who wear jeans and then wear thong sandals with no socks. Red flag. Yeah, big time. It's right. kind of a Florida thing, that dude. Oh uh, yeah, I was it's in Florida like, a few weeks ago. I saw a lot, of, a lot of that. It's like Key West, Key, Key Weird stuff. Where were you at, Florida? Is that what you call it, Key Weird stuff? Key Weird, yeah. Or Key Weird. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. I was in Destin. Destin, Florida. Oh, that's big time. Yeah. Because it's all guys from here who go down there with their families on spring break. But even like the locals in Destin are 
their that, big that, jeans. That's, with that's Florida man stuff. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you said red flag though. Yeah. I, I, I like that. I, a lot I won't do that. You. you know, I don't think my mom would let me do that. Either. Nice. She, she'd probably good. kill me. Good for Mrs. Kirkwood. Yes. That's good. Uh, all right, man. First 500. Yes. How are we feeling? Feeling pretty good. I mean, we got pretty much like a brand new car that we're getting ready to roll out with. Mm -hmm. It's sitting inside the garage right now, nice. rubbing on it the last few two weeks before we start running tomorrow. Okay. Um, like actually rubbing on it? Or what do you... It's like, yeah. Legit. Like you like, personally? Not me. No, oh. it's usually I thought you me. meant like it was like your baby in the garage, you know, and you got well, like that. Uh, but it, it's the whole team's baby. Yeah. Like, dude, dude, how how little of a mile per hour changes your entire race here is is insane. So everything's getting waxed up perfectly. Everything. All right, dude, I'm super excited for you. I'm going to be cheering you on. And um, it's good to have you in the series and good to see you at the 500. I mean, you're, you're a star, man. Good to see so, you living here, man. Yeah, it's going to be, gonna be seeing a lot of you. It's, yeah, going to be seeing a lot of you. It's going to be a lot of fun. And um, best to luck like the donut huh yeah. quack daddy hooked it up right mega donut mega donut. maybe the best donut i've ever had Here's potentially that. thanks to quack daddy donuts kyle kirkwood thanks buddy no worries appreciate it